B Gorilla. My name is Rody, and this is Ask the Gorilla. So today I'm going to show you how to set up Google My Business, right? Otherwise known as Google Business Profile. So let's go ahead and get started. Now we're here at our profile manager dashboard. Again, that's business.google.com and it'll look like this. If you saw the last video, you know that we made a new fake business based on our favorite character, Funky Gorilla, right? He decided that he was going to open up a pizza place. So now that we have our business created, how do we go about setting up Google My Business? Well, in the initial creation, Google actually had you set up a few important things about the business, right? So we're going to go ahead and get the rest of it set up for you. Now, in our case, we're looking at a restaurant specifically a pizza restaurant you'll see on the left that there are things like menu and food ordering right now if you're not a restaurant you might not have these options you might have something different right so these are specifically for a restaurant so let's get started the first thing is you want to make sure that your name is correct right funky gorillas pizza looks good now here we're looking at category and you can see if you click on it it'll say pizza restaurant since we are a pizza restaurant we can keep it there but if you focus on delivery or something else you can see some of the the options here right pizza restaurant pizza takeaway pizza delivery and that's about it for pizza so for us we're going to click restaurant then you want to make sure that your address is correct and you want to verify this address because this address is where your business is going to show up on Google and it's going to be where Google sends a postcard in order to verify, right? Now you can go down and, and select your service areas. Since we are a pizza restaurant and we just happen to choose a random address here in uh, Manhattan in New York, our service area is going to be Manhattan. Now if you wanted to, we could add more service areas. For example, let's say that we also served, we delivered to Brooklyn, right? We can click there and click apply. So let's go down, verify that your hours are correct. Now our hours are fine, that's good. You could add special hours, right? So we're going through and we're essentially checking out the info section today, right? So what are we gonna do on July 4th? We can confirm that on July 4th, we're actually gonna be closed. So hit apply. Um, then we wanna add our phone number. Since this is a fake business, I'm not gonna add a phone number right now. So we're just gonna hit cancel, but make sure that you add a proper working phone number that goes directly to your business. Here we have our fake website that we made. Now in our case, we have a menu. So if you wanted to, you can add photos of things on your menu and you can add the price, you can add the name, a description of the item, things like that. And if you wanted to add a section, you can make it, right? Lunch, dinner, uh, appetizers, beverages. So we won't do that now, we'll save that for later. All right, and then you're gonna to wanna to add your attributes after you finish with your menu or whatever else, right? So again, this is all part of the setup process. So in our case, are we black owned, Latino owned, veteran owned, woman owned? You can go ahead and check these out. Now, important to note is that attributes are going to be different depending on what kind of business you have. They're going to be dependent on the business category that you've chosen, right? So in our case, we have a lot of accessibility options. We have a lot of um, identification options, right? Since we're a restaurant, is there a restroom? We're gonna say yes, we have high chairs, it's good for kids, but we also have a bar too, and we have a gender neutral restroom. Um, sure, we have some free Wi-Fi here. We're LGBTQ plus friendly, transgender space, safe space, family friendly. And uh, what else? We have dinner, we have lunch, we have seating, we have counter service if you want to order a slice, right? So remember, we're thinking about our fake pizza business. So what does uh, a pizza restaurant look like? In our case, do we require a mask? Uh, mandates have been lifted, so no. Uh, do we requ require reservations and so on and so forth, right? So in our case, what do we have? Do we have live music, rooftop seating? We'll say yes, because that sounds awesome, right? Or is there sports? Sure, we show sports on the TV. Now, do we have alcohol, all-you-can-eat situations? Now, again, you can go through these and check which ones are applicable to your business. Right now, I'm not going to read through them, but it's important to note that you have this payment section here. Now, most businesses are going to have a payment section. Please choose uh, what applies to you, right? reservations, delivery options. Now these are selected because I selected that 
we did have delivery, right? We don't have a drive through um, and we don't have outdoor seating. So if you want to remember, you can just double click those to change the attributes and click apply. Now, Google will save that. And another thing to note, remember, this is really important. None of these are going to be visible until you verify your business, right? We're not going to verify this because this is a fake business. Again, next, this is super important, but you're going to want to make a good description. Now, I wrote this as filler. So in our case, we're going to write something a little bit more. All right, so I went ahead and wrote a quick description here. Now, more discerning eyes will notice that there are some mistakes in this description, but we're going to go ahead and leave that for now because these are very common mistakes. And in our next video, we're going to talk about optimizations. So we're going to go ahead and hit apply here. And then next, you're going to want to add your opening date since we just opened. We'll say that we opened June of 2022 and today is the 15th, right? So we'll hit apply. Then you're going to want to go down to this section. Now, this section is last but definitely not least. This is your photo section. Now, we encourage at GMB Gorilla, we encourage every business to have the best possible photos that they can, right? In our case, we're going to add a logo right now. So we have a whole section on what makes a good logo and what makes a good cover. But for now, I'm just going to show you quickly that we are going to go to our desktop. And I've already took the time to make these logos myself for our business. So here we have our logo that I made real quick. I hope you like it. it. Took me about two minutes. So here we go. So that's our logo. So now we have an official logo up. And then we want a cover photo. Now cover photos are super important because if it's a good cover photo and Google likes it, it's going to be essentially your opening photo. What everyone sees when they scroll past your restaurant on maps. Now, in our case, we decided to include this huge, beautiful picture of a pizza with our logo and, of course, Funky Gorilla himself, right? Since we're a restaurant, we're going to want to feature um, pictures of the interior, pictures of the exterior so people can find us, and, of course, pictures of the food and the drinks. So, that's pretty much it for today. Once you have that all done, you can consider your business set up on Google. Thanks so much for watching. Email us if you need any help, and we'll see you next time.